What's up guys, Bella's back here. So today I am bringing you a video from my room back in home. I'm home for Christmas break. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful happy holidays. I thought I would start off the new year by filming some more videos about Michigan and just why I chose it. Just because I know I already made a video called like how to get into college or like how to get into Michigan or like tips and tricks kind of. But today I want to focus on why I chose Michigan. I briefly like glossed over that topic but today I want to talk about the schools that I was mainly choosing between and what I was looking for in a college and why I feel like now that I have done a semester at Michigan I can attest to why I think this was the perfect fit for me so if you guys are interested in watching then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and yeah let's get into it okay so just to start off this video I'm first going to talk about the schools that I was choosing between and what I was looking for when I was applying to college so when I was applying to college, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to study, but I decided on business just because I feel like a background in business is very solid and you can do a lot with that degree. So I was primarily looking at schools with good business programs. I of course applied to some schools that didn't really have business programs, but I only applied to them because of the name of the school. That's another thing, when you're applying to schools, really you should only be applying to schools that have your intended major and if you don't know what you want to do, then obviously that doesn't apply to you. But I think that that's a really important takeaway just to make sure you apply to schools that have to do with your major just because it's a lot easier to get into a school once you've decided on your major versus transferring into different schools um, once you kind of figure it out. So some schools just to give you some background like what I was choosing between and like that big good business programs. So primarily it was like Boston College, um, the Carroll School of Business, um, University of Texas Austin, the Macomb School of Business, and then um, University of North Carolina um, in their business school, and then it was Michigan Ross. So I got into the honors program at UNC, so that was primarily the other school that I was choosing between as a definite choice, um, but definitely I was more focused on Michigan just because Overall, I think Michigan fits everything that I wanted as a package deal, so that's why I chose it. Um, also, I can't really say much on UNC considering that I didn't even tour it. Um, I ended up just skipping that school tour and I kind of applied on a whim. Basically, in case I didn't get into Ross, I applied uh, to UNC and I was really surprised I got in. But I would recommend that you apply early action to all those schools, obviously for people who haven't um, who have already gone through the application process and you're now just trying to decide which schools you want to go to that doesn't apply to you but definitely make sure that you apply to early action if you can just because it shows extended interest. Another reason why going to a school like Michigan was really important to me versus something like University of California Berkeley. Great program as well obviously it's business school is tied with Michigan actually I think Michigan um, hot, Raw School of Business and then Berkeley's Haw School of Business are now tied for number three behind Wharton and MIT. Um, but they're both very good programs. The only reason why I really enjoyed um, or I really liked Ross over Berkeley is because you can apply as a pre-admit into the Ross School of Business so you know before you go to the university if you're in the business school or not. Whereas in Haas, you have to apply at the end of your sophomore year to see if you get in for junior and senior year. And it's just a lot more difficult to apply once you're already at the university because obviously Berkeley has a ton of smart kids and they're all going off of your college GPA, not as much as your high school GPA. So I felt like I did really well in high school, so I wanted to apply when I knew for a fact that I had a strong background um, in some things that had to do with business because I had an internship and then also I just took really hard classes so I felt like that would make me a better applicant and I didn't know exactly how my college GPA would be if I would go to Berkeley or somewhere like that. I just want to stress that as being really important just because I have friends that are at Berkeley and I know that they've told me that the kids are trying to get into Haas right now they're working their butts off just because they don't know if they're going to get in or not because they're competing with the best of the best. So also that's another thing with Ross I know that they're trying to get more of their students to apply pre-admit because they I'm not sure if they're gonna go fully into um, kids applying uh, like kind of like the School of Engineering you apply directly into it instead of going through LSA but I know that that's what majority of their the kids um, do now just because I've met a lot of kids that only chose Michigan for the business program I obviously feel like I chose Michigan as a package deal just because I was looking for a school with good sports um, good academics holistically not just in my program because um, 
if there is a chance that you're not as interested in the field that you apply into, it's good to have other options after school that you're interested in then as well. Another reason why I chose Michigan was because I wanted to go out of state. Um, obviously, this I'm very lucky that I was able to choose to go out of state. Um, but I wanted to go somewhere completely different from where I'm from, so Michigan is a lot different from California, but Michigan attracts kids from the coast, so a bunch of New York kids, uh, New Jersey kids, um, kids from Boston, and, and Northern and Southern California, a bunch of kids go, um, just because I think it attracts a variety of students. Um, it's known to be a pretty liberal school, although I feel like if you have, no matter your political feelings, religious, um, practices, or, uh, ethnicities I feel like it's a very diverse school and very accepting that was really important for me as well I feel like every single person is well represented there any type of person um, anybody can kind of find their niche but it kind of just depends on how you get involved and I think I'm gonna make videos about like how to get involved on campus socially um, as well but that was also really important for me. Yeah, so something that I want to bring up is that you can dual degree at Michigan, which I really like. It's like double majoring, um, but they just call it dual degrees. Um, so for business, I think there's a dual degree with engineering, um, LSA, and then the School of Information. And I know that the School of Information has them with like stamps and LSA. Engineering has them with LSA. I don't know what else. Um, but there's a bunch of dual degree people that you'll meet, a bunch of people doing like a five-year program. Michigan's pretty nice in letting you do a five-year program in four if you can fit in your schedule. So I like that you have the ability to kind of choose whatever path you want to take. Also, I really like that the fact that my first semester, I, I'm in a, my class has a little bit under 7,000 kids, which is a crazy amount of kids, but... I was taking five classes and three of them were at 20 students or less and then people dropped out so there were, because the classes were too hard I guess, so some of them ended up being like 14 kids, 15 kids, and like 17 kids which is really great in a public institution. Also a nice thing is that people get really, another thing people get really scared or intimidated I think going to a big school about finding your place but there's definitely a place for everyone there and also there's so many kids. But there's so many graduate student instructors, there's so many professors, so there's definitely ways where you can make sure your professor gets to know you. I recommend going to office hours and everything like that. But that's another reason why I can attest to me liking Michigan. I was a little bit scared that it was going to be too many people, but I definitely don't feel like that. I feel like I'm an individual that gets individual attention as well, and I'm not just a number. So I hope that that was a little bit more useful than my other video. That video was focused more on like how to get into Michigan. Um, but if you're already into Michigan and you're still trying to decide what to choose, obviously I would love it if you went blue, but um, otherwise I think all the other schools are such great options, but if Michigan is one of your options, you should definitely explore it more. There's so much information on the websites, um, but I'd be happy to make more videos and answer any questions in the comments down below if you guys have any of those, um, but I plan on making more videos on Michigan um, and college life in general. I'll probably make this like a college 101 series. I don't know. But if you guys like it or want to give me any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below and I will see you guys sooner or later. Peace out.